whatever they got. Uh, get your pizza, bro. Book of Wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 12. Seek not death in the air of your life, and pull not upon yourself destruction with the works of your hands. Most of us sitting there telling you, like, look, man, these are works of our hands. Following it. Putting it on destruction right now. And for what? To fulfill lust. Lust of the body. Lust of the flesh. That's what he wants. That's what he's hyping everybody up with. White man out here selling you lust. That's what he is. That's how he get off with. Yeah, that's all people love. lust of the flesh. Gooch. Don't take a bond. That's all they love. Keep reading. Keep reading. Verse 28. Punish them that oppress us. Hold up. This is a prophet. Did the prophet say, Lord, let them love us even though they hate us? What did he say? Punish them that oppress us. A righteous man said, punish them that oppress us. I don't want to be hand joined to air with Donald Trump. I want God to punish him. That's Keep right. reading. And with pride, do us wrong. With pride, they do us wrong. They got migrant children locked up and divided them from their parents. How they treat you? You got off the ship over here and they separated you from your family. But y'all don't say nothing. Y'all go around the world and, oh well, let live, let live. Well, I'm not a Republican. Not my president, but it's your country. But y'all don't do nothing, man. All y'all do is go around chasing cheap visuals and money and women that don't know what they want. Because I know what I want. I want a kingdom. That it? You got a precept? You got a Get your precept. Give me a second address, five and one. Ecclesiastes. So it's his wickedness. Never trust your enemy. Right. As iron rust, so shall he wickedly show himself. Do you know that iron will always rust? Right. That means the white man will always hate you. Hell yeah. right. Right. Always. Hell yes. 400 years ago, did he hate you? Yeah. 2019, he hates you. Yes. yes. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. You see that? I don't speak, oh well, we should all love each other. With what I speak, I speak prophecy, man. I speak the things that the Lord wrote in this book for me to speak. I don't speak out my own heart. A lot of y'all do that. Well, I feel like we don't care about how you feel. Thus saith the Lord. Keep reading. Keep reading. It's gonna go all and cause the them to be written in the paper. For they are faithful and true. Hold that. This book was written in paper for those that are faithful and true. Right. Hey, we ain't really out here for all y'all, man. We all for the faithful and true, man. This book wasn't written for all of us. It was written for the one third in the elect. Keep reading. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the credibility of thee. And, and credit to you. And credit And credit duly of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Man, a lot of y'all fear. Oh well, if I go out here and and I'm talking and and I'm talking about how Jesus is black and how the Bible hates white people, you know, I, I know my parents is gonna see it and I just can't do that. Y'all get fearful when they be coming up. Well, you know, you Israelites are cold. You Catholics are damn cold. Don't y'all rape children and hide it? Y'all rape children, hide it, and then don't go to jail. And how you deal with it is, oh well, you know, just don't do it again. Oh, you could be a homosexual priest, but you know, just don't have sex with children. But what did God say about homosexuality? 
Y'all know what that is? That's the video cues 21 and 11. Um, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears. You see that? They said, Hey, let these people blind, man. Hey, give them a little, give them a little sun, man. Give them a uh, section they housing, man. Give them food stamps, man. Make them fat, man. Don't do them like we did them back then and take all these things away and they get pissed off. No, no, let's docile them down and take all this stuff away from them, man. So they don't actually listen and see what's going on. How many people today are working without pay? The government is shut down. Bring that out. But y'all don't care. Y'all chasing bad things. Y'all chasing money. That's all that matter. Money to y'all people, man. That's why we ain't dealing with y'all, man. Y'all wicked as hell. The Lord ain't even really for some of our people, man, because y'all wicked. Y'all rather be like these white people. Had three sisters walk up, two with blonde hair, talking about, well, we feminists. What the hell? Do you know what the word feminist or feminine means? It means to be woman. It means to be soft, gentle. It means to be woman-like. What, what, where did pants come from, man? It came from men. And y'all feminists push pants. But I thought y'all were feminine, right? That's confusion within this world, man. You follow heathen customs and bugged out people, man. These Caucasians don't even know what they want to do. They lost. They don't know what they want to like, niggas. I hate them. They confused. That's why you got Democrats and Republicans. That's why the Lord said any man that is unstable or a, a man that's double-minded is unstable in all his ways. They are unstable. They know they need you because they get everything from us. The sauce, the fight, the music, the, co uh, the clothing, the culture. They get it all from us, but they hate us. Man, somebody was giving me all my sauce, my, my music, my culture, all the women, all the money. I treat them right. But they got so much hate for us, they got to kill us too. They got to hide our culture, take our identity. And slavers, murderers, man. Keep reading. You got reason. Keep reading. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, as with womankind. It is an abomination. That's right. What? It is an abomination. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, as you do with womankind. It is a what? It is an abomination. It is an abomination. Why is the Caucasians pushing this and their birth rate is low? That's insanity. Oh, I want to push this. Let's let's have everybody go through this. Now they birth rate low, now they going crazy. Let, let's build a wall. Oh, let's start gunning them down. No, no, let's lock them up. They crazy, man. And y'all want to follow them? No, no, no. Yeah, keep reading. Keep reading on all that. You got free No, uh, keep reading on uh, Second Maccabee. Y'all want to go to uh, Second Maccabee? Second Maccabee, chapter 5, verse 4. I'm oh, sorry, 15. No, 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 no. You gave me Second Maccabee. I gave you Second Maccabee. Yeah, come, come. 15 and 13. No, uh, 15 and 1. 15 and 1. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 4, uh, verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Hold that. All the unfaithful shall what? Die in their unfaithfulness. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Y'all can't even be faithful in relationships. 
Y'all can't even be faithful to your children. So how are you going to be faithful to God? You are finished. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments and live. Be reading. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. He said, Behold, I'll bring plagues, the sword, famine, destruction. What we got? We got famines in Africa. What we got? We got warfare in the Syria. What we got? We got plagues in America. Got this flu shot. How did one man take a flu shot and he's bedridden? That is crazy. But they be killing y'all. Y'all don't care. Look at y'all. Lined up like sheep for the slaughter. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. You see that? Wickedness exceedingly took over the whole earth. This whole earth is wicked, and you gonna get your just due. Oh, we got climate change, but y'all building cars. Y'all heavy industrialism. That's wickedness. But y'all don't care. Y'all don't even care about your next generation. You care about money now. Give it to me now. I gotta have it now. That's why y'all getting destroyed. Keep reading. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things. You see that the Lord said, I'm not holding my tongue no more. I gotta have people out here telling you this wicked. I gotta, I'm gonna wake up a remnant to show you what to do. Because at a point, he coming to kill you. Here he Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of those, the souls of the just complain continually. You see, y'all be like, oh, why are we complaining? Why are we complaining? Because the book of God said some people will be complaining. I am tired of seeing men that are seven foot in dresses. We got no men in our own. I am tired of seeing our women being strippers. We got no mothers. We are complaining because God wants us to. And if they complaining, you're going to die. And therefore, say the Lord, I will surely avenge them and will receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. You see that? He gonna receive all the innocent blood. 96 million Native Americans, 100,000 Blacks and Hispanics. All that blood, this place gotta pay for. That's right. Including y'all. Keep reading. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Now all of that. He said, my people are led to the flock as a slaughter. Don't you know that slaughterhouses got assembly lines? Don't look like a bunch of cattle being ready to be slaughtered right now. Walking in an assembly line. Get ready to be cut and processed. But y'all don't want to listen. Oh, go ahead. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out a, and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. You see that? He said, I'm gonna come with a mighty arm and I'm gonna smite them with plagues. What does a what does America got? Opioid addiction? 
It's about 500 white people dying a day. But y'all don't want to listen. They died a day. It's about 100,000 deaths because they white for cracking your community. That's right. And when I hear they dying, I clap. By Shimon Bakyakawasha. By Shimon Bakyakawasha. They murder our people. They put drugs in our community. I'm glad that's happening to them. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I said uh, one and third, uh, three. I said one and three, man. I say it. Chapter one, verse three. The ox knows him honor, and the ass his master's grip. But Israel doth not know. My people do not consider. He said, the ox knows his owner. And the donkey knows the master grill. But y'all black people call yourselves African American. Do you got dual citizenship? No. Can y'all go back to Africa and stay? No. So y'all don't know who y'all are. They don't want to know about Egypt, brother. Y'all crazy. Calling yourself out the two white men. Leo Scipio's Africanus and America Bastus. So y'all so drunk, 
Y'all can't even walk around. Y'all so drunk, y'all gotta call Uber. Y'all can't even drive your own car. The Lord said destruction unto you. Keep reading. Chapter 14, verse 21. For thy law is burnt, therefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee, or the works that shall begin. But if I have found grace before thee, send the Holy Ghost into me, and I shall write all that have been done in the world since the beginning. You see that? If you want grace, you're going to seek the law. Because the law work of wrath. And you go against the law, that means death. You want to find grace and get the Holy Spirit? You got to keep the law. Drop that. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 37. Hold on a second. That's 16 and 15. Hold down. I'm going to bring this out first. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 27. 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 14, verse 37. If any man think himself to be a prophet. Hold that. If any man think himself to be a prophet. And what? Or spiritual. Or spiritual. For you even to be spiritual. He read it. Let him acknowledge that the things that are right unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Let him acknowledge the things that are right to you are the commandments of the Lord. You want to be a prophet? You want to be spiritual? Keep the laws of God. Uh, drop that. Uh, Chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. What? Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. You want to know something funny? All the Caucasians say one thing about Negro that y'all know. If you want to hide something from a black person, put it in what? A book. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Blessed those that read them, and keep the things therein that are written, because the time is at hand. It's no more time. It's 11 o'clock, and that 12th hour is done. We ain't gonna be out here. That's it. Give me a uh, second, uh, second edge, 16 to 15. The book of Second Edges, chapter 16, verse 50. So shall righteousness hate iniquity, which she decked herself, and shall accuse her to her face. Hold that. Read that again. So shall righteousness hate iniquity. Hold that. So shall righteousness hate iniquity. Read. When she decketh herself. When she decketh herself. He read it. And shall accuse her to her face. We shall accuse her to her face. Do you read it? When she come, that she shall defend him that diligently search out every sin upon earth. And they shall defend him that diligently search out all the sins on the earth. The Lord is not coming back for the weak. They do something against God, say it. Stop being all afraid! Drop that, give me the uh, uh, hold that, give me the Leviticus 1917. Y'all need to gird yourselves up, man. The white man got all the strength and all the gall to go get y'all. Y'all need to rise up against him, man. I'm tired of seeing y'all weak. Y'all quick to kill each other. But when the cops get y'all, oh, why he hurt me? Cause why stop Could you do the same to your people? Are you holding them things? Wicked. And hate your own people.
But y'all want us to feel bad when the cops dumping you out and the cops shooting you for no reason. But in these streets, you do the same thing to your own people. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart What? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor And not suffer sin upon him He read it Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against thy children of thy people Thou shalt not avenge or have any grudge against the children of what? Thy people. The white man is not your neighbor. Your That's neighbor right. is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. But guess what y'all do? You hate your own people. When Ray Ray C. Buki is a shot. It's on sight. But when it's the white man, it ain't on sight. It ain't never on sight with the white man. He gonna murder you and you gonna cry. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord Yahweh. Thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself. That's why a lot of y'all hate your own people. Right. shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blessings and hell. Hold that. They that till the ground shall mourn, because their seeds shall not prosper. That's why blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do not prosper in America. Keep reading. And with a fearful... Damn, look at, look, look at the heathen run. They see us and get the hell out of here. That's how it should be. Keep reading. Right. And with the fearful constellation, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe to the world and to them that dwell in there. Are y'all not a part of the world? Don't you dwell within it? But y'all want everything to prosper. Y'all want to keep in your wickedness. Keep reading. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people should stand up to fight against another. Hold that. The sword shall prosper. So much death will come. For you to use a sword or what to buy a sword, that means you got to be killing. Keep reading. And swords in their hands. For there shall be seduction among men. Right. And invading one another. They shall not regard their king nor princes. And that day, y'all would not regard Donald Trump because men will start turning swords against each other. Do you read it? And the course of their actions. Hold up. The course of their actions. What? Shall stand in their power. Shall stand in their power. Just like in these games. Whoever the strongest, whoever got the biggest gun will win. Come back and turn to the Lord. Sit on that. What you got? What you got on? Uh, I'm still in for it, huh? Uh, he's good, huh? Uh, give me Isaiah 3 and 17. Isaiah 3 and 17. Let our people, man. They dancing. They waiting, man. They, that's all they want. They want 
oh, I want to feel good and, and, and have parties and do what everyone else is doing. But what everyone else is doing is going to get you killed. That's why your parents back then told you, if your friend jump off a bridge, are you going to do it? And apparently, yes. Here it is. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 17. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. Hold that. The Lord is going to smite the head of the black woman. Why do you think they got weed? That's why we didn't get so in and scabs up their head. Right. Read that again. Right. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 17. Therefore the Lord 